Good morning, beautiful people. God bless you. Today is day 17 of 21 days fasting. So mm. far, so good. God has been good, and God has been so faithful, and He has been carrying us gradually, gradually. And I can see His mercies and glory upon my life. I just want to share a word today. Today is the 17, and today is prayer is anchored on restoration. So I'm going to be reading Joel chapter 2, verse 25 to 26. The book of Joel, Joel chapter 2, verse 25 to 26. And God says, I will restore to you the years the, the swarming locust has eaten, the hooper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army, which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never again be put to shame. So I just want to look at that scripture. The first thing is, when God says he's going to restore, he's going to restore something, that means something has been either lost or broken. Okay? So something could have been lost, damaged, broken. So now, when God says, I will restore it means it will bring it back. So something that was broken, God says, I will restore means that it will bring them back together. Wherever the pieces were scattered, by the power of God, God will bring them, gather them back. So that reminds me of Ezekiel. When God said to Ezekiel, and the dry bones live again. And he said, Thou knowest. And if you look at that situation that Ezekiel saw, the bones were all scattered everywhere. And if you look at the bones, you don't know which and which belong to which one. But God knows which part of the bones belong to which. And at the right time, that Bible in in I think Ezekiel chapter 32, I'm not sure. The Bible says that the bones now reconnected back to normal. That's the God of restoration. He restored those dry bones back to normal. So now, that is also a confirm in Joel chapter 2, 25. God said he will restore to you the years that the swarming and the locust and the hopper and the destroyer and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. The emphasis here is that what was destroyed was because God allowed that to happen. God says here, my great army which I sent among you, which means that what was destroyed in your life, God knew about it. And it happened to the glory of God. And also, what was broken in your life by the great armies of poverty, hardship, failure, failure in marriage, failure in relationship, Failure in your success, failure in your job, failure in raising your children the way you want them to be, failure in your academics. Every kind of failure that has happened, God knows about it. He said, my great army has sent among you. So God allow what happened to happen to the glory of his name. No matter how scattered those pieces of your life has been, no matter how scattered that situation you have seen, that each time you gather, you gather things, 
and they start to rise up and they start to grow, the next minute they are scattered. God is saying to you this morning, my son and my daughter, I, the Lord, will restore to you the years that you have lost, the years you have suffered, the years you have been put to shame, the year of your poverty, the year of lamentation, the year of shame. God said, I will, I will restore to you those years. And then the emphasis says that God knows what happened. He allow it to happen to the glory of his name. Verse 26 says, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. When God says you shall eat in plenty, when God says you shall eat in plenty, it means that you have been eating in scanty. Mm -hmm. Opposite of plenty is scanty. You've been eating in, in scanty. You've been begging people for food. You've been living by what people give to you. That verse says, verse 26 said, God said, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. So which means that those years that the lucos, the canker worm, the caterpillar have taken from you, they took from you, God is saying to you that when I am restoring what was broken, what was damaged, what failed, what is not working well, God said, when I'm, I am repairing those things that were damaged, I'm not going to only repair it, but I will establish you. I will establish you. And God says that you will eat in plenty and you'll be satisfied. You will no longer beg. You no longer depend on people giving you peanuts. You no longer depend on people giving you a little money for you to do shopping for your children. No. God says that you will be satisfied. You will be satisfied. And God says that, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God. You will praise the name of the Lord your God. You will be satisfied and praise the name of God. That is what God wants to do. It's the year of restoration. It doesn't matter what you see is happening. Like I said, when things, when God said, I will restore to you the years, it means, God means that what was what failed, what broke, what has broken and scattered into pieces that you cannot find out or fathom where the pieces of your life has gone, right? What didn't work well? That's the same thing that God says. Like I gathered the dry bones in the valley when Ezekiel saw it. I am going to gather you and your children that were broken and scattered apart because whatever came to scatter you and your children and your family, I, the Lord, knew about it. But I have come back to you to say that enough is enough. It's time for me to restore all those years that you have lost, right? It's now for you to restore all those years that you have lost. So. And God say, who has dealt wondrously with you? And my people shall never again be put to shame. That is the last verse of Joel chapter 2, verse 25 to 26. And my people mm -hmm. shall never be put to shame. When God says, shall never again, that means that there was a time that we are all being put to shame. There's a time that we were all put to shame because we were... God allow us to test our faith. And God allow us to see shame, to bake bread, to depend on people. God allow us to see poverty, to drink dairy. God allow us to eat yam in palm oil. So that when you see someone that eats yam in palm oil, you remember that you were there. But God of restoration restored you. And when you see someone mm -hmm. drinking Gary, you will not despise them because you have drunk Gary before. So God says that never again, which means that 
you God has never again means that it has happened before that you were holding your children and knocking on the door asking your neighbor can I have five naira can I have ten naira I just want to buy paracetamol for my child who is having fever you can't take your child to hospital God says by the reason of this fasting that is restoring you. Today is the day of restoration. That's our prayers anchored. Everything that you have lost, God is saying is going to restore it back to you. So you will not go to beg anybody for anything. God says he will never put you in shame again. And for those of us whose God has lifted, we have paid our dues and God has brought us because I said to people on my YouTube, everybody in this life have a dues to pay. And the dues you have to pay is poverty. If you wake up and grow in your life and you have never been for one day and, 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 and lack food, there's something wrong with you. You have never been in one day and don't have enough money, there's something wrong with you. But as a child of God, you will one day have something that you have to cry to God. That is why he's God. Because he wants people to come and cry. And he will answer them. If everything in you is so, is so rosy, you wake up, you were born into wealth and everything. Either you're going to get into mental health because when you have too much, you don't know. You don't know God. But it's best to have a little. I say, God, make me comfortable. Yes? Make me comfortable. I don't want to be too rich, but I just want to be comfortable. That is me, right? So God is going to restore somebody today. And I am that person. My family is the, that family. And you watching me, God is restoring you. Your ministry, everything you do, your health, God of restoration, restore mm. your health. He will do what men cannot do for you. You will never be sick again. You will never be admitted in hospital again. You will never go back to hospital, you know, uh, uh, asking for people to treat you because God of Zion, the great healer, will heal you. So that's my message this morning. And I pray that today, as you pray, that God will restore everything that the enemy has taken from you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. So I have to go now. Bye. Thank you.